What's up guys and welcome to a live Saturday grind tournament grind and I have some pretty decent deep runs on GG. Um, let me quickly change this um, and increase the size here. Um, so just as a tiny intro, um, I noticed I haven't been playing my A game today. Um, some spots where I tended to spew a little bit too much, maybe calling uh, a little bit too light. Um, but yeah, we still have a massive stack in this one. <laughs> I was chip leader for quite a while, I think for over one hour here. And I had a mix of running very good, getting hands all the time and some people spewing off. And then I also sucked out nines against jacks. Um, and I built on my pot and I built on uh, my stack, I mean. So starting was 50k. Um, so we have a 20x starting almost. Uh, this one I late dragged, uh, not not too late, so I was still 120 big blind steep actually, so I was quite surprised, but it's yeah, it's the deep stack thing. So, and I chipped up a little bit, which is very nice. I three bet him light a few times and then I got some hands and stuff went through. This one, the famous Bounty King Junior, which used to be one of my favorite tournaments here. The queen do suited just real quick. Um, I want to raise this, not too big. Let's make it 18 to 200. Um, getting it through is nice. Um, yeah, so this is one of my favorite tournaments. Why? Well, it has a very big guarantee. Actually, on Saturday it seems tinier than some other days, but still 80k, which is very nice. So it attract, it usually attracts around two to 4,000 players, and a lot of them aren't really good. I think they're attracted by the big guarantee, and the buy-in is still, I mean, it's, it's kind of medium-low. For online, I would say it's almost medium already. Um, but yeah, so I really like the, the play in this one, but still you need to hold against a lot of donking. Um, you will be all in often with your strong pairs against some ace X bullshit. And of course, sometimes you run into things. So like in any tournament, you still need a really good run to go ITM or even further. Um, I have some stuff on stars too, so sorry if my attention will be slightly distracted in between, but I'm, I think I'm doing fine. This guy is very aggro. I didn't find a spot so far against him. Usually I, I wouldn't suggest you call like you, you call this race here, but in position and these guys haven't been three betting too much. <laughs> Look at this guy, 142 hands and we probably three bet once. And he does it now. Um, okay, so now we are getting into difficult territory. I think suited I would peel for the price, um, but off suit I think it's just better to lay it down, even though he has a nice bounty. Um, I think th this, I mean, this is of course very subjective and you, I can be wrong and he could be exploitable here, but I think this tiny sizing is more a very strong pair and not ace king too often. But of course you never know. Um, check nine off. Ah, I think I'm gonna fold. I've been very active and this is like below bottom of my range. I'm here. Well, I'm just gonna raise it up and hopefully not run into queen check. Um, I would just re-enter if you bust this. This is the famous mystery KO on Saturday for $15 buy-in. 100k guaranteed, I think. Uh, and yeah, I, I, it's insanely donkey this tournament. Moon, I, he probably snap falls here with his half seabed unless he has the king or better. Or maybe some draw. I mean, he could have king check. Oh, well, that that's a really terrible turn. <laughs> like, he has so many queens. I'm just gonna check and. Pfft. Well, now I don't give him too many aces. If he has it, I'm gonna call him down now. Um, Actually, I, I think I want to bluff this. Um, he might call a lot here, but 
but I want to bluff this. Yes, we're getting a fault. It's amazing. <laughs> so he had the king jack. That's amazing. I love the fault. Why am I even in the pot here? I think sometimes I do stupid things while I'm talking and my brain is auto piloting. Um, also, the king 10 open here. Very debatable. Uh, if I would be a little bit less active, I sometimes would opt for called forward here and then, of course, fold. Check 10. Let's just fold some. Let's just fold some. I mean, this is insanely well paid. Uh, almost 7,000 7, runners all paying $50 into the prize pool. So it's almost 350K in total price, I guess. So, uh, yeah, well, I try to not stare at prize pools too much before um, I have to think about ICM here. And this dog, I mean, I I wouldn't hate a raise here, but sometimes he has the eight. He, we might get him to fold a queen, but check 10 hearts, all the strong draws, um, which also probably start betting. We don't get to fold, so yeah. But I don't hate these spots against active players like him. Maybe it would have been good. Hard to tell. So much action on this table, it's insane. And also, if I open, I get a lot of actions because action because uh, well, my stack is so big, and um, people just want to play back. They feel I'm opening way too much, which I did not really. Kind of my normal very wide open range. And this guy here's a high attempt to steal. That's why I'm jamming this. It's close. I mean. Hopefully, sometimes you're flipping, hopefully getting some folds, so yeah, that's good. I mean, you could play it possible, but then it's really hard on some boards and you probably have to give up your better hand often. Um, and the set, you can't play it for set mining, but yeah, you could also call sixes. You sometimes are able to go to a river for cheap. It's both fine, I think. Close spot. I'd rather be on the little bit more aggressive side here, especially if he steals like so much. Um, I mean, A6 doesn't perform well, but we're getting a great price. And, uh, I don't know. Close again. No, oh, well, this is this is okay. I think this is a regem. He should do this. I mean, let's see. Is, is he? Ah, that sucks. I think I'm gonna regem this. Ah, oh, no, maybe not. I think he, he shoves weaker hands for sure. <laughs> oh, look at the flop here. Uh, with him behind, I mean, it's it's getting very dicey. I'm gonna fold. I mean, Ace Deuce is really a shitty hand. Um, I think... Uh, flat again. Now that sucks. Maybe we don't get the action now. Or maybe he just jams whatever he has. I hope he, I mean, he could have the better backdoor flush here, but I think generally we, we're good unless it's very unlucky. Kings, yeah, makes total sense. Probably you can raise here, but I mean, what raises, right? So I'd rather have him donk it off, kind of, so to speak. So what happened here, by the way? Uh, here I'm gonna, I could also limp raise, actually, it depends. I'm gonna limp raise here, the a6. Checking. Some, sometimes I bet my bottom pair. Now I'm definitely. He, he has a lot of check X in his range, that's why I prefer to. Let's go. What do we do? That sucks. I mean, I'm gonna check and hope he doesn't have the 8 or whatever. That's awesome. <laughs> that sucks. That's awesome. Um, so he had queens. And we would, would have made, well, both two pair with the sixes, but... That's very interesting. I think I can jam this. Uh, yeah, sometimes he has a better hand. Um, and But I think he... Yeah, I don't know. He shouldn't have too many 10x here. He either has the over pair or... Well, that makes sense, yeah. Well played. Stupid... I'm a stupid donk. But... 
yeah. <laughs> I think it's fine. He's, I know he's very aggressive. Um, he will be raising a lot of Broadway here. Some, yeah, a lot of stuff, generally speaking, that we on this flop are definitely ahead. And I can't just raise fold, check fold, check calls, difficult. Yeah, I'm trying to justify my play, but I think it's okay. Uh, what did I do here? Why is it 4.5? Oh, I'm falling now. What do I have here? Nice hand, guy. guys. Yeah, it always sucks to dunk off your stack in a spot like this. But I think the small blind was big blind. Um, I mean, I could just limp, call him, then call flop. Let's see. I mean... The, the conservative way to play is like limp, raise, call, flop, call, turn. We probably still have to call one and then river we have a difficult decision. Uh, but he probably stops barreling. I mean, yeah, okay, well. I could have bet here twice, but he also hits his range very well. So I'd probably just give up the five high. I like to do some bluffs um, here, but people tend to be very calling stationary, um, especially early on in the tournaments. So that's not really, um, and I don't think I can bluff him here much. I mean, sometimes he has it, but I, I don't know if he, we get him to fold. He has a lot of two pair here too. Well, I'm just giving it up. I like to bluff my bottom of my range on these rivers here, but depends. It's also nice to to preserve our pretty pretty good stack. Defending six five here. Sometimes you flop monsters and it's easy to get away from for a really good price and very deep. Uh, it's not like I'm always defending that. Um, depends. <clears throat> so I know nothing about him. So probably gonna fold here. It's hard to play turns. Hey, nice. Something just got through. Do you have here? Ah, massive fall in. Well, not massive compared to his. 24 big blind stack, but jack and queen. Hope I can chip up again. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna re enter this one. I mean, I like it a lot, but mm, could be barely enough big blinds, maybe. maybe. Oh, nice. Getting shaft on, and I have ace king. Let's see what happens. Ace eight versus ace king. Oh no. Lost with ace king against ace eight on uh, stars. Ay, ay. Um, against crazy boy here, I'm probably gonna call off if he jumps. The, the flat is strange. Might be a better king x hand. Not really my flop. Uh, against two and him in the big blind. So fold. Um, I'm probably gonna give up. I mean, he's so crazy. Ah, still giving up. So nice to see three X's. <laughs> and against him I had a, such a fun hand. Um, let's see if I can find it. Should be a king 10 hand. I had two pair, he had the better two pair on the turn. I decided to check. River was a card that gave any ace high. Um, it, it was a really cool, cool hand. Why can't I? What's going on here? Where's the bar to go up and down? Ugh. Aces. Okay, and with him. He doesn't raise. Oh no, please don't get a fold all around. But he likes to jam this stuff. Come on. 
Don't disappoint, my friend. Come on, 9-8 suited is good. 9-8 off is good. Oh, I feel like he's folding. You can debate this one. Pretty passive players, generally speaking, in this tournament. Oh, come on! <laughs> that sucks. I would have loved to see a jam from him and a call from someone else and, and so on. I think he might be aggro. Hello, Mr. Limp. Let's race for value. Hopefully no post-flop cooler here. Okay, it's aces time. Am I jamming this? I think I am. I feel like it just looks weaker. Okay, no action here. Ugh, two times aces and no action. I would hate it. Nice, we get a call. Top pair here. Uh, I'm probably gonna check back, especially with the flush draw blocker. <laughs> and actually ace king here. Can you please hold? Hold this. Now I'm betting for value. It's kind of an action turn. Nice hold. Nice double up. Hopefully back in game. I don't think he has a hand yet. Um, I could bring a tiny blocker bet. Or... I don't know. If he raises big here, I mean he shouldn't have many sixes. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, uh, 7, 10, 7 set. Maybe he has, has a blocker hand that blocks I mean, my bet is so tiny, right? He probably thinks, Ooh, what the heck? I like to level myself into calling the, these spots. I'm slightly blocking the flash draws, which is not so good. I'm slightly blocking check 10, which is also not so good. This is very close. This is fucking close. I'm gonna fold. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I like to make the hero cause. Um, but I think it's kind of stupid in this spot. Uh, if I wouldn't have the jack blocker, I don't know which hand that would be. Probably ace king or whatever. Um, I'd be more inclined to do it. The jack, the jack of, of um, what is it again? Spades. <laughs> it's really bad. It's really bad to have. I think it would be overly ambitious. Yeah, sometimes he still has the... I'm gonna check back. It's a nice turn. Probably just gonna jam here. I mean, if they trapped, good for them. It's a nice river. Ah. That sucks, what the heck. Good luck. I, I can't raise this. I hope I'm not dead. Ah, shit. <laughs> okay, he, he did trap. Fuck. Ugh. I'm gonna write this down. How many big blinds did he have? 15? 18? Let's say 17 big blinds. for this guy. Hmm. I mean the Queen 10 called preflop actually isn't the best thing. Um He's opening from pretty early position. Fold, fold, fold. Well, middle position. And I call in position. Yeah. Queen 10 off is really a, not a great hand. Do 
pocket threes against the nip boy here that brought them very beautiful over over bed. Just gonna flat for set mining, pure set mining or straight mining maybe, but not really. Suited, definitely raising this under the gun. Problem is I can't call any of these reshelves. He wants to reshelf. <laughs> Interesting spot here. It's a great, great flop. I think, I hope. Nice hold of jacks here with this flush and over card board. Just gonna bet kind of big, I guess. Ready to stack off here. I mean, sometimes he has the better flush draw, which would be horrible. Sometimes a set. hand to have. Probably call his all in. Very close though. I'm thinking about three bedding light here. Now I'm thinking about folding. I can increase the size of this one slightly. Wow, what a board for 10-8 suited here. is 34% even though he has top two. <laughs> but it holds. Pocket threes are probably gonna regen very quickly and then re-enter if I, I will lose this. I hope I still get the time. Come on, do something. Ah, 50 seconds. Oh, come on. Oh god. Fishing it. Okay, cause 30 seconds. Let's just double up. I mean, I prefer that over re enter. No. Okay. Good, let's re enter. Ace check here, gonna raise call both of them. I hope to get some light three gems here. Just calls while I'm not getting away from here, even if he donks me. I don't know, it looks the most fishiest. <laughs> okay, Ace King with my re entry. Nine six of oh, blah. No, against the one point five, I'm falling this. Good luck. Oh, people. No, only when we are ITM, people should be inclined to to call for bounty. But a lot of them don't even know. So let's go. Good luck. Defending here, the nine six suited. Oh, look at the flop. Yum yum yum. Not getting away from this. It's just flats, which is so, so noobish. 
<laughs> I wanna do I do I bet this for value? I think I do. Uh, I mean, they shouldn't have much, but then again, they are quite fishy. What's going on here? This is hey, we got value. We get the value. He donks, though. That's probably a pair. Sometimes it's a flash draw. Sometimes it's a gut shot or something. Yeah. So I have some out. Oh no, I think. Oh, mystery bounty fun could be over and it's over. Uh, seven six. A min race here and fold to an inch. Yeah, GG. Meh. Now I have to barrel. <laughs> Tighten it. I think he goes for the bounty even with almost any pair here. So check, give up. I mean, it could check the flop, but I don't want to give him the free. Maybe a tiny bet is better. That's nice. I think I should be good here quite often. Sometimes he has the 10, of course. But. What could he have? Um. Mm. He could even have a two pair with the strange six, but it's, I don't know. Could be blocking a lot of stuff that he's supposed to. Oh, nice shit! That's unlucky. Whoa, fuck! But I mean, I wouldn't have. I would have given up if he brought a bet at any point. Okay, double bust on GG. Um, this one's bigger. Probably make this a little bit smaller and the other one bigger. Check how this looks. Okay. Wow, he is chipping up nicely. Oh yeah. Let me see if there are some turbos or anything like that that I want to. Table. Okay, that's good. We're chip leader again on the table, slightly. Ten seven suited with his boundary. Ten eight suited. I'd open ten seven. <laughs> Not so good. So on GG. Doesn't look too pretty. I could play some of the upcoming hypers. Maybe I do that. Yeah. Five. 
Interesting if he jams. Or we could call this, yeah. Defend here. <laughs> uh, usually I get the turn with a diamond in these. It's like happening way too often. He checks. Not a bad pig. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> that's a little bit disappointing. Let's not give up. What? could be a very long grind. I mean, this is daily deep stack with 10 minutes blinds, I think. Check. Twelve minutes. Oh, okay. It goes... We, sh we should be now... Yeah, eight minutes blinds. That's good. It's a good in-between structure. I mean, generally speaking, I like long blind structures. Gives you a lot of room to play. Um, but I don't want this thing to last another eight hours. Probably will last, anyway, six hours. If you finish first. Probably would have flatted this, even though he's super tight. But it's a good hand to crack some stuff. Not the best, but it's okay. Check seven into the muck. Oh wow, what a nice wake up. Okay, gonna raise and call, wow, against his stealing range, yeah, I'm, I'm going for it, I'm even calling his jam here. Yeah, of course, it's gambly, but I mean, he steals so much if he really has it here and we should get a lot of faults, but his bounty is too big. <laughs> if he jams here, I'm getting too good odds. Um, able to call and I think he's opening wide to get his bounty here oh, nice it's nice to see the fold of course I think I'm gonna open this and just call him should perform okay against the reshuffle range unless he has a pair not really great but good enough and it's a nice mix in between if we get flatted and see a flop But I mean, often if he goes all in, someone else will reship some suited Broadway or medium pair, ASX stuff. And his reshuffle I would have to fold against. Hmm, might be a reshuffle. No. Definitely C betting. Unfortunately, no backdoor flush draw or anything, but hoping for the immediate fold. He could have some ace X that he flats here, I think. Huh, against this guy, I like to flat this hand, but it's just stupid not to charge it up. It's check give up unless the five peels. I mean, he has also some check X in his range. Just pretty deadly. Sometimes he has the missed gut shot, but yeah. If he jams, probably calling. I mean, I don't know how he plays. 
Now with this hand I have to call his gem too. Can flat or can fold. Hmm. Pass a passive, so I think. Hmm, I don't know what to do here. Probably bet give up or check it through. I'm actually betting for where you I mean it's a very dry flop. But he The Queen hits his range very well. I guess that's mostly a queen. Yeah, let's go up here. I'll check the turn. I don't know what does he call here. Very strange. I mean, maybe a better pair, sevens, eights, nines. I'm gonna check and hope the sixes are good. Oh, nice. Pff, I can't fold his hands. Now I can. Pocket force. It's gonna be a set mining call. His attempts to steer, oh well, still just set mining. Put peel once here with a backdoor straight draw. Probably do it. Hoping for a good turn. That's actually a turn that hits my range very well. If he keeps barreling here, would be very strange. That's bad, I mean, because it gives a, a, a lot Broadway stuff and sometimes, sometimes some ace x that he wants to play only two streets. I think I still have to check, give it up sometimes. <laughs> Queen three, oh my god. What the fuck? These ranges, unreal. Defending here. Oh yeah, 9 7, just a good defend. Sometimes you could peel one depending on the sizing. It's, if it's a very low sizing, I'm gonna peel one. Could raise for value. Uh, that's a nice flop. I'm gonna let it go. Oh, oh, look at the run out. The turn would have been the one where I'm just gonna raise this here. Do I? Yeah. Let's put some pressure on this guy. Should do some raising with 10x, I guess. Can have a weaker flash draw. That would be the best, best case scenario. Do I bet this? I'm calling this. I 
These snap folds, that's so sad. Could also check, I mean, but problem is out of position. Sometimes you don't get the money in. I could have bet tinier. Yeah, I think the bet should have been a little bit tinier. Okay, nice regen, tense, makes sense. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it doesn't feel great because you build a stack and you're chip leader and it's so nice. And then you have some spots where well, you open, you have to fold on the flop, you have to fold pre-flop against the race, um, you lose a flip, blah, 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 and you, well, actually, I should open this because of him. Um, so, you're chipping down, 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 and then you still, like, in this case, I still have a really great stack, but you don't feel great, but it's important in these situations to remind yourself that, well, we're in a great position here, just play kind of ABC good poker and see what's what will happen next um, yeah it's really important not to get into the oh no I lost all my chips now I need to gamble it up again mindset and I know a lot of people that happens to and it can happen to me too if I if I have a bad day or if I don't remember that it's totally unnecessary to feel that way Pocket fives is gonna be interesting. I like just open jamming here isn't the worst play. This is very gambly. I mean, if he wakes up, would be horrible. But I still like the spot. With him, he he's open, he's stealing way too much, and some of his calling hands uh, flip, and we at the bubble, which should make people play less aggro oh, I mean sometimes he has it let's see he calls shit that's bad okay well it's a flip that's a nice flop there's some backdoor <laughs> beautiful I mean we have some chop odds exactly two nice yeah, yeah, that's the way I like to spew my chips. I mean, these spots, many people fold their ace-queen there, and I don't think it's a terrible fold. Of course, this looks very, yeah, it depends. I mean, people understand that, that have some more poker experience that this is probably not a strong hand most of the times. But I mean, sometimes I might do it with a strong hand, actually, to balance this, and you really should if you do this play. I think this raising here is great, especially against him. He might regem though. Um, pretty light. Yeah, I have to fold. This is usually a very strong hand. Uh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> well, I think this is a very strong hand, unless he's super fishy. Um, of course, I'm falling back in queen. Wow. Glad to see it. Um, very unlucky. Maybe they hit a 5 or a 7 or an 8. That's not an 8. Could be a 7 or a 5. Just a 3. I'm gonna give him the nice hand. I mean, that's a fantastic spot. <laughs> and the direct bubble, almost direct. with this guy, uh, the queen three opener. Wow, I want him to go all in. Give me the $62 bounty. <laughs> Go 
We'll check this back. Well, actually, no. Actually, no, I don't want to give them a free card. They should have lots of faults in the super dry board. Hey. Getting it through. Now, with both call, I just definitely give up on the turn. They have some 8 7 hands, <laughs> some check X, some pocket pairs. Ah, it's terrible. I mean, I think they float a lot backdoor Broadway here with backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. I just have to lay it down against two. What do we have? <laughs> ah, the nice old quartz, and he just finds. Well, I mean. I would have min raised to get his bounty, I guess. But then you usually don't get calls. Okay, well, I'm happy they had quads at least, so I don't feel too dumb. Defending the 8 6. What the heck is this 3-bed? A 4-bed and fold. That's a strange board. I mean, I, I think I have to give it a tiny 3-bed. Problem is, he will be shoving most of his ace X hands. That's a nice hand to have. Yeah, just to give up here. Even though we have the backdoor equity, we could also check this, but then he starts stealing so much. Okay, he puts the pressure on that he should probably. I mean, we are in the money, but just gonna flat this and hope for good flops. It's not too terrible. I think he does this with some king queen. That's very bad. So this is gonna be interesting here. Um, but he knows I have some um, ace queen too that I flat. So if he brings the mega barrel, uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna give it up and wait for a better spot. It's, it's really. Tough one. If that was a light. I mean, I didn't like the sizing on the turn, but then again, he doesn't have much experience, so it's not, not the worst. Not oh, bad for value actually here, I think. Kind of protection. Slash value. Definitely defending my queen eight. Jack is gonna be interesting. If he jams and he rejams, oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, might call. It's very gambly though. I might flat this, and if he rejams and he rejams, ah, it's it's dicey. I think it's it's not the worst play. Yeah, I'm gonna call his rejam here. It's high variance, I know. But I think I can't just uh, give give up this hand if he has a better one. Okay, let's go. Let's please hold. That's a good flop. Yes, we have the one against him. Awesome. Love it. Thanks for the chips, man. Whew. And we get his $62 bond. Yeah. <laughs> Very happy. Um, 
sometimes race, sometimes lead. I prefer the race. Let's go, and we are back with 1.8 million chips. Yummy, yummy. That was massive. Really glad we held there. I mean, usually these are often, the, as you saw, sometimes, I mean, often he has some ace X that we dominate, um, but he also has all the Broadway and some pairs. So it's quite flippy situation, but I think you really need to take these, especially the way we play it. If you raise, he goes all in and he rejams. His perceived range gets a little bit stronger, but mm, yeah. Letting the ace and suited. With him re jamming, I feel like he's a little bit on the spew side. Ace 10 suited is really on the edge here. Ace check suited, I would definitely call. I think I'm gonna call here unless he's also in. Wow, lucky boy against Tencent. Okay, now I'm folding. This looks very strong. That's sick. I mean, that's just lucky. Okay. Ooh. Good. Happy. <laughs> I found the fold. Probably would have called him, to be honest. Uh, but, yeah, I still sort of really borderline. Are we gonna be on a break soon? Um... I will pause and make a new video after the break, so it's one minute in, until break. <laughs> what the fuck? Can I open this? Uh, I think I can against him. Yeah, it's very borderline, but perceived strength strength under the gun is usually a bit higher. Still think they kind of free jamming light. Yeah. Flatting, we could raise this. But I mean this is a great flop to see it and hopefully get a lot of give ups. But we don't. Um, him squeezing here. I think I have. Yeah, that sucks. Actually, I think I want to bring in a tiny C bit. Ah! I mean, he has some King X. But he also has some flush draws, so for, for the flush draws, I think it's nicer to have a tiny C bit here. We could find some jams if he has a straight here. And I mean, he's probably calling some check 10 that he finds the fall to. Yeah, very happy with the outcome, of course. <laughs> Position 7 again. Yeah, 14k plus bounty. I mean, that would be the dream, right? Okay. Um, thanks for watching. I mean, let's check real quick. I have a good stack in the hyper here. This is kind of irrelevant. I mean, they are still early, so both irrelevant. The stack is kind of nice, it's starting as 20k, but it's also not massive, it's just okay, let's see. And of course, this is the big event, kind of. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Check out the next video and subscribe if you haven't. Good luck at the tables. Bye bye for now.